All is quiet in the Action Man camp. But what's that powerful shape lurking in the shadows? Action Man awakes, his eagle eyes on the lookout for the intruder. Ever since childhood, I've always had a fascination with vintage toy television commercials because these short promotional films show the toys I love in the way that the original design is intended to introduce them, while also providing a glimpse at the fashion and youth culture of bygone eras. What's the best football pitch in the world then? Enfield. Oh, crap. No, hi, Bruce. My house. Nothing quite piques my interest more than when I come across a vintage toy TV advert that I've never seen before, especially when the toy in question was produced by the legendary British toy company, Palatoy. And I'm here today to talk to you about a very unique opportunity for us to come together, pool our resources, and help rescue more than 100 lost Palatoy television advertisements. Stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. A few weeks ago, I was contacted by a fellow Action Man enthusiast that I haven't spoken to in several years. And this person is in possession of three rolls of original 35mm film prints that contain over 100 Palatoy TV adverts. Now we have the opportunity to come together, take possession of these adverts and share them with the entire community. But before I get into the details of how we will rescue these long lost prints, let me tell you the story of how we got to where we are today. A number of years ago, this Action Man fan got a lead on the whereabouts of these film prints that had found their way from Palatoy's advertising agency and into some kind of a film stock warehouse. Long forgotten, collecting dust. The oldest reel is now some 53 years old. Then following a little bit of detective work and some help from Palatoy's former chief toy designer, Bob Breakin, this individual was able to successfully locate and secure these rolls of film. Fortunately, this person is also a film industry veteran, so after he took possession of the prints, he knew exactly where to go to get them professionally cleaned up. This included getting damaged parts repaired and all the adverts re-spliced. He paid for this out of his own pocket. He then had all the prints digitally scanned at a 2K quality by a professional post-production facility, and once again, this was done at his own expense. The results are quite mind-blowing, and if it wasn't for the fashion being worn by some of these child actors, you would swear that many of these adverts were filmed yesterday. To show you just how good the quality is, I have taken the best version of the Action Man Dynamic Physique advert that I could find on YouTube, and I'm now going to show it on the screen next to the 2K scan that came from the original 35mm prints, and the results really do speak for themselves. While this collection does include many adverts that are already available on the internet, albeit in much lower quality, there are also numerous examples that have not been made available digitally since they were first aired on British television in the 1970s. One such gem is this commercial for the Escape from Cold It's board game by Parker. There are ads for Pippa and Friends, Play-Doh, Star Wars, Pocketeers, Tiny Tears, Ricochet Racers, Baby Alive and Little Big Man to name but a few. There are even TV adverts for imported products that Palatoy sold in the UK under license, such as Migos Planet of the Apes and Star Trek figures. This is an absolute treasure trove of vintage Palatoy goodness, and they must be saved so that we can help preserve them for future generations to enjoy. Now comes the most important part of this video. You need to know how you can help rescue these important pieces of Palatoy history. We need to raise £5,000 to be able to take possession of these lost TV adverts, and I have developed a plan, which has been endorsed by Palatoy's former chief toy designer Bob Breakin, where the original prints will end up where they rightfully belong, and where the digital copies will be made available for all to enjoy. I have launched a GoFundMe to help raise the funds required, and you'll find a link to the campaign in the video description below. While our funding goal is £5,000, you'll notice on the campaign page that the funding goal is $9,500, and it is important to note that this is the approximate equivalent in Australian dollars. For American viewers, our target is approximately $6,500USD. If we are successful and we reach our funding goal by 12pm GMT on the 24th of June 2023, the three rolls of original 35mm film prints will be donated to the Colville Heritage Society a society dedicated to preserving the history of both Palatoy and its home of Colville. And the digital copies of over 100 original Palatoy television advertisements will be uploaded to a non-monetized YouTube channel with the watermarks removed. This is a brand new channel called the Palatoy TV Advert Vault, and you'll also find a link to this channel in the video description below. These adverts will not be posted on the Analog Toys YouTube channel, as I have no intention of gaining anything financially from this venture. 
Other content creators will all be granted access to use these commercials in their own videos. But I would ask that if anyone sees another channel simply re-uploading the standalone adverts and monetizing them without creating any other original content for a broader video, then please report this back to me and I'll file the relevant YouTube copyright claim. To put it simply, if the community is going to come together to fund this project, then other parties should not be able to simply steal the adverts, re-upload them and gain ad revenue from views on their channel. You have a terrific opportunity here to help rescue a valuable piece of Palatoy history. And all sponsors that donate £100 or more to the GoFundMe campaign will have their name credited on a title card that will appear at the end of each Palatoy TV advertisement when it is uploaded to YouTube. So please, if you're like me and you want to help prevent these Palatoy television advertisements from being lost to time, then head over to the GoFundMe campaign and donate what you can today. If you can't afford to donate anything to the fundraiser, you can still help out by sharing a link to this video in all your favourite social media toy groups. The more we get the word out there, the better chance we have of achieving our goal and rescuing these long lost Palatoy TV advertisements. I will not be withdrawing any of the funds from the campaign until after the 12pm GMT deadline on the 24th of June 2023. So if we somehow fail to reach our funding goal by that date, I will not withdraw the funds and will instead issue refunds to all the donors. So let's band together, raise the funds required to secure these original television advertisements and help preserve the history of Palatoy. Searching for the mysterious Gargon, the intruder has already been spotted by Action Man's evil eyes. Little Big Man comes in six worldwide adventure packs. They make a great collection. Team up with Little Big Man. Only you can create your own Star Wars. May the Force be with you.